lingering out through northern sections of Stokes County. So as we go north of Walnut Cove and north of Danbury, likely to see some showers there. Now we've got isolated severe storms tomorrow that may lift through the afternoon and early evening for folks. And this is going to be in the mountains and western foothills. So that's the zone right now that we're most concerned about. You notice the hour by hour forecast shows you those temperatures are pretty steamy. We've at least got you in the upper 80s again tomorrow. And then we've got those spotty showers and thunderstorms. Not everyone's seen the rain and very similar forecast to the last few days. Although our rain chances are higher tomorrow, we do anticipate seeing those showers and storms starting to wind down. And on Sunday, as we go into the evening hours, you notice some of these are still going. So mountains and western foothills, those are the zones for isolated severe threats to the east. Could see a strong storm or two, but just enough to cool you down. It doesn't look like we're going to see a whole lot in the way of the good heavy soaking rain or severe to the east. Here's how it's looking the next 12 hours. We've got temperatures in the low 70s. We've got humid weather and rain chances that do increase to 50%. So this puts it as an impact day. Doesn't mean though that everyone sees the rain. You do need to check your WXI 12 news app to see if the radar is showing you the storms near you. We do expect to see humid conditions persist everywhere with highs near 87 in the foothills. We start you out at about 68 degrees and in the mountains from near 62 taking you all the way to 80 and we've got some thunderstorms likely by the afternoon evening for you too. So the active weather, we've got temperatures at 77. You notice your rain cooled in North Wilkesboro at 68 degrees. We've got you down to 68 in Galax too on your way there to the low 60s, but kind of hanging out in those upper 60s for folks in the foothills. With 72 Reedsville, 78 in Greensboro, we were in the upper 80s just a few hours ago. So now we've got your temperatures coming down into the 70s, gratefully, but 88 degrees for a high, 89 in Burlington so far for you today. And typically 89 is the target high. So near normal, very seasonable temperatures. 101. I'm so glad we're not talking about major extremes right now. Your dew point comfort cast as we've been talking about as we get you into Sunday muggy and then very muggy from Monday into Tuesday. We've just got that ridge of high pressure kind of bringing in that west and southwest flow that does increase our storm chances. Also, as we go into the at least afternoon hours, not necessarily bringing us widespread rain chances or widespread possibilities, but we are looking at hot temperatures. Look at this 90s throughout the week. Humid, very July like forecast and your rain chances starting to drop off once we get you into your Monday. We may even drop rain chances down a little bit more than 50%, closer to 30% it looks like on Monday now. And continuing that trend through much of the week off and on isolated afternoon storms with upper 80s to lead into next weekend. And again, general thunderstorm possibilities. It is July and this is how it's usually looking for you right now.